Break-even exam question. This video is going to take you through a break-even exam question, which you can attempt, and then it'll show you how you would calculate the answers. So, on your screen now, you can see the question. You've got Jasmina wants to calculate the number of domestic customers' jobs that she needs to take to break-even. She gives you the following information in the table. Now, the table is important because all the information you require is in the table. And down below, you have got the graph. Now, obviously, you could print this screen and then print it off um, and draw lines yourself, for example. Or you could create this, if you wanted to, in a spreadsheet program. However, what you've got there is number of customers on the bottom. And you've got the cost and revenue going up the side. And you've got to draw the and label the fixed cost line, the total cost line, and the revenue line. And you then have to identify the break-even point. In other words, mark it up. So... What my advice would be is to take some time now to complete that and then unpause it and we'll take a look at the answer. So, as you can see there, I have drawn the graph for you and it's fairly straightforward. Firstly, let's do the fixed cost line. What do we know about fixed costs? They do not change with output, they stay the same. So, if you think about it, with no custom, no, no jobs, it's £4,000. So, you go along the bottom where it says number of customers zero. And you go up to 4,000, you put an X, you see the dot there. You then go along to 100 jobs, and it's still 4,000. So go 100 customers, up to the 4,000, put the X. 200 customers, up to 4,000, put the X. 300 customers, up to 4,000, put the X. Draw a straight line across it. There is your fixed cost line when it's labelled up. The next part of this is I would do the total cost line because remember, total cost line always starts from the fixed cost line. Remember, total cost is your fixed plus your variable costs. So you would then look at your total cost line. So no customers, £4,000. So zero customers up to 4000 put your X. Then you need to move along to 100 customers. We move up 5,000, so we've got to 5,000, put the X. Then we need to move along to 200 customers, and we need to go to 6,000, put the X. And you can see what's happening there, the pattern. You get that point there, you can just draw your straight line through it, label it up, total costs. And last but not least, we need to do the inflows, because remember, cost is money going out, so revenue is money coming in. So at this point here, we do the same thing again here. If we sell no items, we get no revenue. So zero customers, zero money coming in, but an X. Then we need to go to 100 customers and we get 5,000. So 100 customers up to 5,000. We sorry, up to 3,000, get right. So zero customers up to 3,000, put the X. Then we go along 200 customers and we go up to 6,000. So we put the X there. And then we go to um, 300 customers and we put the 9,000, put the X there. And you can draw your line straight through it. And there's your revenue line. At that point there, you've done your lines. Now, you should know at this point here, break-even happens where the total cost and the revenue line intercept each other because it's a point where you make no profit and no loss. So where do they intercept? Well, they intercept at 200 customers. And if you labelled that up, well done. Or it would be £6,000. And at that point there, you've got that part right. So now you can move on. And this part of the question says, calculate the margin of safety. So in other words... Margin of safety, remember, is a difference between the actual number you sell and your break-even point. And then you need to state why the margin of safety is important. You've been given the formula to help you do that as well. Pause the video while you have a go at that. Use your data from the previous question. And now let's take a look at the answer. So you should have done the first bit, which is dead simple. You know that she sells 375, um, well, that's what she's got, 375 customers. And you know the break-even point is 200, so 375 minus 200 means she has a margin of safety of 175 customers. What does that mean in simple terms? Well, that means that she has 175 customers in profit above her break-even point. She wants a bigger margin of safety if she can, because the further she is from her break-even point, the more money she's making, the more profit she's making. And then lastly, the question says, state why the margin of safety is important to her to know. Well, obviously, it's good because she can plan. So she knows basically how many she needs to sell or how many customers she needs before she makes a loss. Or she could use it to inform about her pricing, for example, or even if she needs to find a cheaper supplier. So normally useful for planning to prevent a loss or to help to maximize profits. Those are all valid answers that you can use. Hopefully you can see how that question is fairly straightforward, but look at the number of marks that you can achieve out of doing really well in a break-even question. If you're unsure about how to do break-even, make sure you check out my videos on break-even that I've got on there. Otherwise, well done. Make sure you give me a like, give me a follow and share. And remember, keep buzzing.